Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. This is a 5x7 double wedged pop-up panel card and it's basically a bit like the vertical easel that I made but I've done it so obviously the person can just take it straight out, the, out of the envelope and it just pops up. You don't have to have any instructions of how to do it, how to make it. Um, on the back you've got obviously space to write. Um, I actually used the first edition Wanderlust papers for this. I'm not sure if you st can still get them. Hopefully you can, but um, if you look on Amazon, I'll try and put a link in the description below if I find if I find any. Um, but yeah, and then I'll just use some peel offs for my greeting. You have to be careful with the width of your greeting because this is very long and thin. If you go too wide, it then means that these are a bit impeded because these like to pop up, and you do kind of want them to be nicely popped up. Really, you don't want them to be too flat um, because the wider they pop up, the more stable your card is. So um, yeah, so you're better off having them. The other thing you could do is on this centerpiece, you could actually make it so instead of having one zigzag in it, it has a couple. So you've got more of a like a concertina piece, but it pops out further. And the further out it pops, the w the wider your sentiment can be. So that's just something to think about. Um, I've also got another thought of something else you could do for it. Uh, so I think I might use that at some point. On another card i'm not going to tell you what it is i'm sure some of you will probably guess what it is but yeah so that's the card so let's get into it okay so for this card you're going to need there's a few bits in it um and i've got some little optional extras as well in case you want to add in um decoration in another place but you're going to need um base pieces you're going to need two pieces that are seven by seven one piece that's five by seven, one piece that's four by seven, and one piece that's one and a half by seven. Okay, this bit doesn't need scoring, so you can put that to one side, and the five by seven piece doesn't need scoring either. So you can put those two to one side. So we only need to score the two pieces that are seven by seven, and the one piece that's four by seven. Okay, we're gonna start with the four by seven, and along the four inch edge, you wanna score at one inch, at one and three eighths, at one and three quarters, at two and three quarters, three and one eighth, and at three and a half. Okay, so that's all you need to do for that piece. Then on your two seven by sevens, they're both going to get scored the same. So you're going to score at half an inch at two and a half inches, at three and a half inches, and at four and a half inches. So I'm gonna do the other one the same again. Okay, so if you take your piece of card, the half inch tab that you did, that's gonna be a mountain fold. Then the next one along is also a mountain. Now the next one along is a valley and then you've got a mountain. So you've got mountain, mountain, valley, mountain going from the tab. So you should end up with that. Okay, that's what it should look like. So you want to repeat the same folds again on the other piece. So you should end up with two pieces that look like that. And I've put, done it so that when you fold them flat, those two little extra bits are in the centre, okay? So that's how you want it, like that. Then you're going to put those to one side and bring in the other piece that you scored. Now this one, if we start from the widest bit, is going to go mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain. So that middle line there in between the two little bits is always going to be a valley. So I'm going to go ahead and, and score and burnish those. So you should end up with that, hopefully. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring these two pieces back in again. And we're also going to bring in our 5x7 piece. Um, before we do anything else, we just want to put some red tape onto this tab here and onto this tab here. So now what we're going to do is... Turn that tab over like that, 
peel the backing off and we're going to stick like squash the whole thing flat and stick it down so you're basically making like a springy wedge so i'm going to stick that down like fold that bit there and then stick that down onto there so when it pops up that's what you end up with that's the cross section so that's where we've stuck our tab so we're going to repeat this on the other one so you should end up with two pieces that look like that hopefully okay so now you're going to take your five by seven piece and on the back of it you're going to stick down a matte piece that is four and three quarter by six and three quarter and a white piece that is four and a half by six six and a half so that's going to go onto the back of your five by seven So there we go, we've stuck down the um, white card and the matte card. So I'm going to turn this over and on the back, this is where we're going to stick these two pieces. Now these two pieces, you want to make sure that, that fold line there lines up with the edge of your card. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. I'm going to use Yuhu glue. You can use red tape if you want. I'm going to use Yuhu just because I want a bit of time to wiggle it and get it into place. And make sure you're sticking this bit down, not the other side, because you want this to be the bit that sticks so this is going to go on here okay so then we're going to go ahead and stick this piece onto the other side Okay, so you should end up with that, hopefully. So you've got, obviously you've got your greeting on the back and then you've got your um, two bits on the front. Now, excuse the little rough edges here. For some reason, my card was slightly too tall. Don't know why, but it was. Obviously, I hadn't measured it properly. So what we need to do now is before we go and put anything in the middle, we're going to go ahead and decorate. Now, you've got an option here. Um, so I am actually going to decorate these two bits here, these two panels here, but I'm also going to decorate these two panels here as well. Um, and I decided to do this because I feel like you can really see that and it kind of stands out to me. So I feel like it needs a piece there. So if you want to add those two extra bits in, what you're going to need for the middle bits, you need two pieces of matte card that are one and three quarter by six and three quarter and two pattern pieces that are one and a half by six and a half. And then for these bits here, you need two matte pieces that are seven eighths by six and seven eighths and two pattern pieces by, that are three quarters by six and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick these down. So that's what you should end up with. So you're going to end up with a nice card. You've got to decorate the sides and it looks great. So now we need to deal with the centre bit, which is the pop up bit. So this is where this bit comes back into play. So you're going to put a piece of red tape or you can use wet glue just along there. If you use wet glue, you will have to hold it shut while it dries um, and it is quite strong. So I'm going to use red, red tape because I don't want it to be stuck straight away. And then what we're going to do is making sure you've got that little concertinery thing going on. You're going to peel off your backing. And I'm going to do it a bit at a time, so I'm just going to peel a bit back, squash that concertina bit down, and then just stick that shut. So I'm just going to hold this down whilst peeling the backing off to make sure it doesn't jump out of place. So you should be left with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick that, and it should fit nicely into that gap there. So again, I'm going to go ahead and add red tape. Mine's quite a snug fit. Um, you might do well to just check how it fits before you stick your two wedgie pieces on. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the corners off the backing, take my card, 
and then I'm going to place this into position make sure it's all lined up and then stick it into place So that's what you should have from the top view okay so you've got your obviously your wedge pieces you've got your pop-up bit so on this pop-up bit now you want to stick a mat piece no you don't you want to stick your your base piece so what i would do now is the base piece that you had that is one and a half by seven you then want to stick on top of that a mat piece that is one and a quarter by six and three quarters and a pattern piece that is one inch by six and a half inches so that's going to go on the front there like that so you end up with that and then you're going to go ahead and stick this on and obviously make sure it's nice and central and it just goes nicely in the middle there so for this again if you want to use um normal double sided you can or wet glue i would advise wet glue if you can just because you've got more time to get it you know exactly central um, if you want to draw a little, make a little mark halfway on your panel and line it up with halfway on your um, centre column, you can. I'm just going to try and wing it and get it as best as I can. So that's what you end up with. So you end up with that. It's quite a nice looking card. I like it because it folds flat, so you can you know, press all down, it folds flat. But obviously when you get it out of the envelope, it just automatically pops up. Um, you don't have to worry about any easels, you don't have to worry about instructions, it just does what it's supposed to do. So then you just need to go ahead and put your top on the front. Just be mindful, you can't go too wide, otherwise it'll impede your wedges, okay? Just be careful of that. But I'm going to go ahead now and stick my sentiment down. Okay, so I went ahead and added a greeting on and also some little gold gems just at the top and the bottom. And so that's it really, that's all you've, you've got to do. And then you've got your greeting on the back. Um, yeah. So that's it. So I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.